Everybody, to Star Ocean 3, part number 51. I'm Cows Crazy. In the last part, we were having our meeting with the King of Aeriglyft, and we negotiated peace, and we're supposed to go get a dragon and all that sort of stuff. And we're on our way to get Albel, who we defeated earlier in this game. We're meeting him at Aeriglyph, and he's going to become part of our party, and he's going to help us get a dragon. But um, I'm just outside Aeriglyph now, but on these pathway here you will start to notice some new enemies that you might run into, like this guy. And um, there'll be some trees here and stuff, and yeah, so I just wanted to show off that there's some new enemies in this area now, that uh, peace has happened. It's not the lazy guys that we fought before, they're actually some tougher guys in this section now. So, be prepared for a much tougher fight, and that guy was like standing on our heads. I wasn't jumping on our heads, because that would be a fun song to sing, but... You know what? Can I target the... No, hold on. I want to target the tree. Oh my, but this isn't working. I'm dizzy now. Oh, luckily I don't have a bonus board, otherwise he probably just would have totally wrecked it right there. There we go, let's get rid of that tree, that's what I want to do. Now we can get rid of Warrior Man here. Get out of here. It's like some kind of a goat thing, isn't it? Goat. <laughs> He's gonna be the goat for his team. He's gonna let everybody down. There we go. All right, Fate says. All right. Anyways, we don't really need to fight anything else, but um, if we happen to accidentally run into it, that's different. Oh, I see, I don't know what these rat things are now. That's completely different. I don't know if the swordsmen are still here at the, the entrance. That's like a porcupine? I... I don't even know. Okay, I want to fight the porcupine. <laughs> okay, what the hell is this? Porcupine's gonna kill me. You know that. You know that's what's gonna happen. We're now fighting two porcupines. This <laughs> makes no sense. Okay, well we whoop Porcupine's ass. <laughs> At least Porcupine's not whooping our butt. Wow. You get a 266 experience. If I had triple experience right now, you know, 750, almost 800, well, probably over 800, that'd be, that'd be a good chunk of change right there for whooping a Porcupine's butt. But, whatever. <laughs> Porcupine. <laughs> what a strange enemy. Anyways, here we are. We're back in Aeriglyph. And, um, we've done all our shopping, so we can head straight for the castle. I'd like to speak with Count Woltar. Ah, 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 ah. The Count. <laughs> Who are you? And what business do you have with His Excellency? I am Fate Line God. I'm here to pick up Alwil Nux. <laughs> it's like he's coming to ask him on a date and he has to talk with his father first. <laughs> Just a moment. I like their helmets. Oh, here he comes. So glad you came this way. Yes, this way, he says. So, this is what the inside of the castle looks like. What are you talking about? We were here before, man. Yeah, we escaped on the ground the last time we were here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Ho ho, you were the first people to ever enter Eregoth Castle alive. After attempts by all three of you, our military branches to hunt you down. Wow. I guess we should take that as a compliment? That is what I had intended. Well, shall we? We shall go down the cellar stairs to the left. What is wrong? Why do you just stand there? Hold on. Don't those stairs lead to the dungeon? You're not trying to... 
You misunderstand me. You're here for Albel, are you not? He is down there. What? Just come with me, and it shall all be clear. Albel? Maybe that's why he wasn't in the war. He was, uh, down in the dungeon. So anyways, you could go all crazy and walk wherever you want, but, um, that's gonna upset people. You could also bother this guy and tell him to move his old man ass. <laughs> on that, those words, if it, trust me, if it was in those exact words on the screen, <laughs> I would be doing it. But, um, yeah. He's down below. This way. Follow me. But if you disturb him too much, or if you go into rooms that you're not really supposed to be going into, then you're gonna lose respect points and with your party. So just follow him. You can explore later. How is in here? Oh, this part gets voice acted. Ooh. Here. Why? He's been charged with treason for letting you escape from the Kurlsar training facility. Not only that, he let you get away with copper ore stolen from our mine. Of course, the one who brought the charges against him is no longer in this world. Fox, right? Wait here. I've got an errand for you, boy. How does Albil go around this very snowy land in that half top? <laughs> like, seriously. It's like a woman is wearing this half top and doesn't care that it's winter. I don't know about you people in the southern states, but up here in Canada, I see it all the time. All these women and their short little mini skirts and half tops in the middle of winter, it's like 20 below, they're obviously freezing their butts off, but they'd rather look sexy than cover up in a, and be warm. It, I don't know, it's, it's not logical. What? You have been given a mission to accompany these people to the Urza Lava Caves. If you complete this task, you will be acquitted of all charges. With those scum? Those Aquarian scum? You must be joking. You're senile, old man. They're the enemy. The situation has changed while you have been imprisoned. Eriglyph and Aquaria are currently observing a truce. What? That warmonger actually agreed to a truce? Vox is no more. Dead? Did they kill him? While they did engage Vox in combat, the killing blow was dealt by another. I still like to take credit for it, though. Who? Other than these Aquarians and myself, there's no one in this world who could defeat Vox. They are not of this world. <laughs> you really are going senile, old man. From another world, you say? Tell me another one. I can hardly blame you for reacting that way. I'm not sure I believe it myself. But believe this, boy. A new, incredibly powerful enemy has appeared before us. Of this, I have no doubt. That's why we have to work together with Aquaria. People from another world? Are you serious? Why would I make something like that up? In any case, without this new weapon, we have no chance of standing against this new enemy. 
That's why you must go to the Urza Lava Caves and tame the Marquis. The Marquis? You're joking! That monster? The way you brag of your skills, I would think the Marquis would be no match for you. Am I wrong, Albel the Wicked? Rotten old man. I bet your father would gladly have risen to the challenge. That's enough! These Aquarians are formidable too, as I think you well know. If you work with them, you should be able to find a way. You make it all sound so simple, old man. If you fail, the rest of us are doomed along with you. There'll be no more Aquaria, and no more Eriglyph. This world will be wiped clean. Then I must go. Indeed. So, everything's settled. Try to get along. Ah, uh, what can you do? I feel like I'm missing something here, but I'll do my best. Yeah, you, you kind of missed the first couple chapters of this game, so, you know, maybe we'll bring you up to speed on the journey there. Me too. I don't like this any more than you do, Albel, but Her Majesty has given the order, so I must obey. Just don't hold us back. Bah. Uh, humbug was the second word you were looking for there. Bah humbug. <laughs> we're here in the torture chamber. Um, let's see. Um, can we speak to you again? Well, if used in the right manner, he should be of some service. At least... You shall be better off than if you did not have him. We don't mind if you work him hard. I suppose it would be best if you did that, for he has been lacking in exercise of late. Ho 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 ho! <laughs> lacking in exercise of late? He's a real hoot and a holler! Alright, let's get out of here. Anyway, so now that we've picked up, um, Albel, we can actually we can go exploring if you want. I don't know if any of these doors will. Oh, there's actual prisoners in there. Inquisitor, I I did nothing wrong. What else could I do? I was just fulfilling my duties as a loyal subject. Please, do not hurt me. A loyal subject, huh? Wow. Oh, this must have been our room, right? It's nice and furnished. But I think that's where we escaped out of, right? came along this way or something like that, and yeah, I don't know. I just remember that's where we were a long, long time ago. So now we're free to roam the castle at our own will, wherever we want to go. There's a nice save point in here too. Um, guess we could use that. Might as well. You know, when you see a save point, you should, you should always take advantage of that, because you just... You just never know what could happen. At this point in the game, um, there are a few PAs that open up, and I guess we could do a couple of those right now. Um, let's see, where should we go first? Um, hmm. Well, we could go see the king. This is actually a pretty big PA. It starts now, and there's a couple little parts that go along the way. And the payoff to this PA isn't till much, much later in the game. But you need to follow each step, because if you miss one step, which I might do, um, <laughs> then you don't get to see the payoff to it. But if I miss the first step, then I'm really screwed. So we might as well do the first step, right? And if I screw up later down the road, then whoopsie doodle. But why is there a cave here? The air dragon cave, whoa, that's why. That's where they keep the air dragons, wow. Okay, 
Um, where's the actual king's room, though? Is there stairs around here? Are there stairs around? Oh, dude, there's some stairs. I see stairs. There we go. It's a very strange castle, isn't it? It doesn't seem as majestic and as pretty <laughs> as uh, Aquarius. But, you know, they're building their castle on the age of Aquarius! Aquarius! Who's this funny looking guy? Oh, he's a count! Count at Nopen. And who might you be? What are these bumbling gods doing letting a suspicious looking character like you in here? Wow. Apparently I'm a very suspicious looking character. Oh, is this the king's room? It is, too. This is the king's throne room. Hey, where's the king? Is the king not here? If you wish to speak with his majesty, he's in his room, attending to his duties. Oh. Like his duties? Like, what, what duties does the king have? What's this? I, I am sorry, but I must attend to my duties right now. I ask that you have the courtesy not to disturb me while I am busy. <laughs> what if he was in here, like, playing with himself? You walk in, and he's like, I was changing, man, I was changing, just getting changed, man, I was getting changed. <laughs> Wait, it, it wasn't like I did anything rude. Our kingdom, too, lost a great deal of its people. Under such circumstances, even I, the king, must help with, with daily affairs myself. Oh, I... In any case, you have your own circumstances, and I have mine. It was not my intention to chastise you. Rather, the fault lies with us. It's nothing you need to worry about. However, as king of these lands, it is quite difficult for me to acknowledge the error of our ways. Uh, I understand. You don't have to say any more. Hmm, perhaps it was a good reason for you to disturb me here after all. I would ask a favor of you. Will you hear me out? A favor? What could I possibly do for you? After all, you are the king. It is no great matter. I was referring to this letter here. I would like you to deliver it to someone. It has nothing to do with politics. Please. Think of it as a personal favor to me as an individual, rather than as the ruler of the kingdom of Verilov. Can I count on you? Uh, so who exactly am I supposed to take that letter to? Are you acquainted with a woman named Elena Farm? From what I have heard, she serves as the head of the Runological Weapon Development Division. I would ask you to deliver that letter to her. Did did you just say Elena? That's correct. Is something wrong? No. It, it's just I didn't expect to hear her name. Hmm. Unexpected, you say. I see. I understand why you might say that. Uh, yes, yeah, so we want to deliver the letter. Okay. I'll deliver the letter. Do not fear. The letter is not about trying to lure her away or anything of the sort. As I said earlier, it's purely a personal matter. I will not fail to deliver it for you. I must apologize for having to burden you, as you are not even one of my subjects. Letter of King of Ericlift obtained. So we get that King's letter. Can we, oh boy. Can we go through here. Oh my god. And we're gonna steal from the King's private chest collection here and get some magical berries. Isn't that great? Who the hell are you? This is the King's private quarters. Does that surprise you? It's quite a stir, don't you think? His Majesty says he does not mind, as he only uses this room to sleep in. That is why I like to at least clean it each day. Hmm, okay. Yeah, it's not as glamorous as I thought a king's room would be, but... Okay. So, he's trying to, you know, get with Elena? I don't know what that's all about. 
hope it's not pictures of his penis in there. <laughs> oh, they probably haven't invented photography yet. Maybe it's drawings. <laughs> it's, an, it's a sketch drawing of his penis. <laughs> oh, passes to the dragon cavern. Another one? There's another. Whoa! Look at this dragon. Holy smokes. Look how it just, like, ignores me almost. Lord Corsell is a very proud dragon. Serving him with one ability is but a small price to pay to be in such a glorious presence. Wow, am I talking to someone? Or am I talking to the dragon? I... I don't see anybody here. Was I just talking to the dragon? That was strange. Anyway, so we have a letter to deliver to Lena. And I guess we can do that in the next episode. There might be a PA or two along the way before I go and deliver that letter. I think there might even be another one here in this castle. Um, but I'll probably look that up. So we've got Albel Knox in our possession now. And um, off we go. Um, more PA is on the way. And then we got to go tame a dragon. Until That's a pretty big dragon. They said they need a really big dragon. So how big is this freaking dragon that we're going to go get? I don't know. But until then, everybody, I've been Cow's Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, move!